Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. On this particular video today, I'm going to be running through how it feels to have been shortlisted for the 2022 Commonwealth Games. I also talk about why you should never give up on your dreams. Stay tuned. On Monday the 11th of January 2021, I was allowed to let people know that I had been shortlisted, if you like, for the 2022 Commonwealth Games. This video will be going up Saturday the 16th of January, so it's been five days since I've been able to talk to people and tell people um, of my selection for the England swim team. The England swim team is made up of 85 swimmers and I am fortunate enough to be one of those swimmers. So it is a great honour just to be selected as part of a team that has so many uh, superstars on the particular team itself. People like Adam Peaty, James Guy, Freya Anderson, Ellie Simmons, etc. It's a real honour just first and foremost to be selected as one of the athletes that has the potential to at least uh, compete at the 2022 Commonwealth Games in Birmingham. Having said this, it is important for me to get across that just because I have made the initial England swim team, it does not mean that I will be actually be going to the Commonwealth Games itself. This is kind of like a provisional list that has been released by Swim England. And obviously over time, people's form will change. I know everybody has been affected by COVID-19 in, in different ways. Um, a lot of swimmers have suffered with the lack of pool time. And I myself am one of those swimmers. I've not actually managed to train in the pool itself since the middle of December. And obviously this is a problem, um, which means I'm, I'm going to be out of shape when I do eventually get back into the pool. Um, so although it's over 500 days of the Commonwealth Games itself, I've got a mountain to climb in my opinion. I've also talked about on a previous video of how disappointed I've been in the recent years after Rio 2016 of my own performances. Now, personally, I don't feel like the swimmer I once was. However, I'm a believer in uh, things happening for a reason. And with this news, it's been a little bit of a crazy whirlwind this week. And it's actually something that I've got excited about to at least have the opportunity to prove something to myself. Um, because like I've said, since 2016, after the Paralympic Games, I've not made a team. I've not made a big team. And this is something that is obviously disappointing to me. But something has come along, an opportunity has arisen, and I would like to challenge myself to see if I can make the, the final selection for the Commonwealth Games. I'm looking at this opportunity as a, something that I can get excited about again. I've got a goal to aim for. I've really been keeping fit and in shape in this particular lockdown in the UK. And since the, what well, before the 1st of January, I've been really going hard on workouts at home. So I've had a really good few weeks of training, but obviously that does not mean that I will be able to swim fast in the pool. It is up to me to build back into the pool when I can and hopefully start to uh, turn the screw and heat things up a little bit. I'm looking at this opportunity with the attitude of I am number 85 on the, the list of a squad that could potentially be whittled down to 40 or 50 swimmers, both able-bodied and disabled or para swimmers. Uh, so if, if I'm looking at this with this particular attitude, I've got to make sure I go from number 85 and work my way up and prove a point to other people uh, on the selection panel. So yes, it's a great honour and I'm really privileged to at least be thought about um, as a swimmer that has the potential at least 
to be at the Commonwealth Games in 2022. Nothing is set in stone. There might be some great swimmers that are off form. There might be some uh, less known swimmers, in my opinion, like myself, that can step up. And I'm just gonna focus on being the best version of me that I can possibly be. And whether I do or do not make the team, I'm gonna at least give it my absolute everything. So yes, I'm excited. Um, I wanted to share this news with you all uh, today. The actual selection process has not been revealed just yet. And also the event schedule has not been told. In the previous Commonwealth Games, although it's fantastic that para swimmers are allowed to be involved, uh, this has seen less events for para swimmers historically across the Commonwealth Games compared to the Paralympic Games. So in the previous Commonwealth Games at the Gold Coast, for my particular swim category, which is the men's S9 swimming, there was only the 100 freestyle and the 100 backstroke. Now, I personally know that if that's the case again this time round, my best bet is to qualify for the 100 freestyle, although I've not been fast enough to hit a qualifying time at a major games for the 100 freestyle. So I've really got my work cut out. Having said this, I am pretty sure this year that there are extra events and I'm hoping to be honest for my best event to be included, which is the men's 50 freestyle. I know if this was an actual event at the games itself, then maybe I've got a chance, depending on the qualifying times and the qualification criteria. I'm guessing there are going to be qualifying times. However, that might not be the case. It might be the England swim team select the best or top two swimmers per event. And that's something, if this is the case, I'm pretty confident I can get this done on my best event. And I will just have to see. I'm not going to overthink anything. I'm just gonna train as hard as I can, when I can, and try and prove something to myself. Okay then, as mentioned in the intro to this video, I'm also going to be talking about why you should never give up on your dreams. And this is something that relates perfectly to this video today. I spent 11 years of swimming competitively at national competitions, local events, counties, etc. And I had a burning desire to represent my country at Paralympic Games. I managed to achieve this and tick this off my list in 2016, where I competed in Rio. However, since then, I have not managed to improve my swimming. I've stayed at a pretty consistent and competitive level nationally in Great Britain. I've always kind of been top three uh, within my category. It's been tough to deal with mentally the, the past four or even four and a half years where I've not performed to the level that I expect. However, good things come to those that wait. And in my opinion, good things come to those that show persistence, a burning desire to still achieve, whether it be in sport, swimming, or another walk of life itself. So if you are listening to this, I have still managed to keep myself in the swimming game and after four years of disappointment and thinking that my swim career realistically might be over, I received an email last week to suggest that, you know, I'm, I'm potential for the Commonwealth Games in 2022, which would be six years after making my last and only swimming elite team. And this really hit home this week that, do you know what? I've, I've never given up. It took 11 years to make a team and I got it done. If I have to wait another six years after the Paralympics that I went to and I make a team, then if that's what it takes, you know, I've, I could potentially do that. Where I could have just easily have given up. So if you're listening to this and you feel the same way that your swimming isn't going anywhere or your particular interest or hobby isn't really going how you expected or how you wanted to at least. Um, I want to be here for you to, to demonstrate that you can still make something of yourself. And that might not be in the same sport or that might not be in the same job opportunity 
etc. But I'm living proof that if you keep working and you keep believing, have this self-belief, have some passion in your heart for what you do and never give up, you can potentially get back up there or get to the level that you really desire to be at. And if anybody is listening with a disability as well, again, I want to be here for you and just show you that I have cerebral palsy. I've tried to not let it get in the way of my life. Um, I've always fought to, to be the best I can possibly be. If you have a disability or not, if you have goals, I suggest you get your head down, you keep believing in yourself. Don't let people tell you you can't achieve anything. And sometimes fate has a funny way of, you know, dealing dealing with your situation. And I'm just in a thankful position at the moment that fate seems to have done this and I have an amazing opportunity to at least try again and to make an elite team for England. So I hope you keep well. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. That would be really helpful to me. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more swimming content. Stay safe and I will see you in the next video.